centerpiece of USS Bofeng Submarine Museum is our model of the submarine. Our interactive display here allows visitors, especially those who can't go onto the submarine, uh, a view of the boat itself and of her equipment. With this, we can show the interior of the boat and the various pieces of equipment on the boat, as well as photographs of the interior of the boat, allowing viewers who have not been able to go through the submarine a view, for example, of the conning tower here, which is normally off limits to the visitor to the submarine. The control room, one of the most complicated sections of the boat, gives information on each of the various pieces of equipment on the boat. As you can see, it is a very complicated piece of equipment and this helps to explain it to our visitors. This kiosk is of our On Eternal Patrol website that we have done thousands of hours of research on information for the lost submariners, particularly from World War II, but also from before and after the war. Um, in this display, we have, for example, some information about the losses, pages on individual submariners, particularly those who were lost during the war. And we've attempted to find photographs of each of the men, not always successfully, but uh, we are continuing our search to find lost submariner photographs and information on the men themselves. The submarines as well have uh, extensive information on the kiosk go to a particular submarine and get information on the lost boat. Let's see. For example, we have information of how the submarine was lost and where it was lost. Related to that is the timeline that will show which submarines were lost in each era and an interactive display of approximate locations for the losses. The heart of the exhibit is, of course, of the men, and that's where we spend most of our time. The database can be updated daily, and we are also considering adding applications that can be used, uh, mobile apps that have the same information for people who actually can't visit us here and have much of the same information on an app. In the timeline section of this kiosk, by selecting the submarine, you'll be able to see the men who are lost with the boat. In this particular case for USS Argonaut, more than 100 men were lost. For the majority, we do have photographs, but not for all of them. And we will continue to search for them. The database of lost submariners is searchable. Often someone will come in and put in their own last name. And we'll be able to find the men with their last name who were lost in submarines in World War II. Often people will come to look up family member who was lost in submarines, or even someone that may not have been lost, but uh, they put in their own last name. So for example, if your name was Andes, you can 
find what men were lost with the same last name as this man is here. Uh, if you cannot come to visit our museum, uh, this is the next best thing. Visit the website and the kiosk information, the database. Uh, you'll find a lot of information on lost submariners of World War II. Thank you.